see. Ah, uh, thank goodness you're awake, or I'll have to try my last ditch move. Emergency skills for junior patrollers. Lesson one, CPR. Uh, never did it on any living person, though. Chusia. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. You just woke up and here I am, chatting up a storm. <sighs> Are you all right? Do you feel any discomfort? You can call me Trisha. And she's Yang Yang. Skirts of Jinzhou, Huanglong. Your attire doesn't seem local. Are you a roving traveler from afar, or someone returning home? So you don't know why you're here, where you're from, or who you are. Aisha didn't tell us you'd have these after effects when you wake up. The wind has brought us a warning. The Atheric Sea is converging. It seems a new tacit field is taking shape. That means it's probably gonna get dangerous here soon. are out of service because of the etheric sea's influence we can't send or receive messages for help now we better hurry over to meet up with Baijiu at our gathering spot and get out of here guess you really can't recall a thing but don't worry if you got any questions we can talk as we move yang yang and i will give you the full scoop every little detail from the get-go rover uh can we call you that for now before you remember your true name We shouldn't stay here. If you don't have other plans, how about leaving with us for now? Oh, that's great! Let's go together! I know you can't remember a thing, but there's one thing I'm 90%, no, 100% sure about you. You must be a resonator too. You've got a tacit mark on the back of your hand, and you have a gourd. This is proof you're a resonator. Your gourd's design looks a bit different from the ones we use, though. Also, we have resonators who can detect the formation of tacit fields near. It may seem all nice and quiet here now, but you never know when a tacit discord might pop up out of nowhere. Oh my, speak of the devil! Huh. Despite having forgotten everything? Wow. Watch me lead the charge next time. No one messes with Ma Shao F uh, I mean, Chisha.
What's wrong? Are you injured from the fight? You saw our sentinel in your memories? Yes, the one we built this statue for. The Oracle Engine Sentinel in Zhenzhou. There is one capital and six cities in Huanglong, with each city having its own sentinel. While they share some similarities in appearance, there are also differences. The sentinel in Zhenzhou is known as Jue, manifesting in the form of a long, like the statue you just saw. Sentinels are present where civilizations thrive. Huanglong stands out with the highest number of currently coexisting sentinels because of its long history and vast land. Records state the sentinels in Huanglong were once a single entity. Now they are each responsible for a part of Huanglong. Naturally, there are sentinels in other regions too, but fewer compared to Huanglong. In Huanglong, most of the sentinels take the shape of a long. In other regions, they manifest in various forms. You were standing face to face with our sentinel? One can hardly see our sentinel with their own eyes. Most people only get the chance during the appointment ceremonies. According to your description, you stood pretty close. Only the sentinel's appointed resonator is allowed in its proximity. For now, that person is the magistrate of Jinzhou. Whoa, darn! That must be an elite class! Chisya oh. might be in danger. Rover, please. The hour is upon us. No. Swift and resolute. Let me be your blade. Veteran! Swift and resolute. <laughs> Strike from the shadows. The end has come. Let me be your blade. Storm, hear my command! beacon over there when you see a beacon be sure to register and activate it it's usually safe within a five meter radius of a beacon it can protect you from danger sometimes rover could you hand me your terminal for a moment <sighs> done its design and system version are different from ours but your terminal still has the data transfer and other basic functions place around here. 
The Resonance Nexus provides coverage for the whole city. Besides, we've got a protective barrier and strong fortifications. <laughs> right? Jinjo sits between the Deseret Highland and the Norfolk Barrens. It's a border city and a fortress. It's very crucial to the safety of Huanglong. Huh? We've agreed to meet up with Bai Zhe here. Where is she? here when we just got here but i didn't sense a hint of a tacit field's presence so it appeared while we weren't looking like in the blink of an eye or maybe the etheric sea can tell where we are could it be following us the center of the tacit field isn't that baija baija We're too far away. Perhaps she can't hear us. Freshly formed tacit fields of a dormant period. During this time, it is relatively safe. The dormant period of a tacit field varies based on its formation time. Generally, the shorter the formation time, the longer the dormant period. However, with a longer dormant period, the tacit discords born within are usually stronger. The faster a tacit field forms, the longer its dormant period lasts. For now, this tacit field should be safe. According to the hero plays, yes, there's a chance for that. Right. The glider can't carry us beyond the tacit field's range. Besides, Baija is there. We'll have to go down and see what is going on. Now it's time to use the glider module. Rover, let me help you activate it. pupils and a steady breathing rhythm. This isn't the place for talking. Let's go.
rotation. before, but Rover was able to completely defeat it. Rover, what was that last move called? That looks as cool as Fiamma's killer move. That's strange. This place isn't known to be so dangerous. Anyway, come check this out. <sighs> Oh, this is an echo. Wow, an echo of the elite class. Someone got lucky today. My apologies. We got a little carried away. Does reverberation or echo ring a bell to you, Rover? Everything in our world is made up of frequencies, and every sound generates a reverberation. Those echoes are the lingering reverberations of tacit discords after they disintegrate. We can absorb them into the data banks in our Pangu terminals. Oh, by Pangu terminal, she means the gourd-shaped device every resonator has, developed by researchers in Guanlong. But you see, it's not always we get to find these. Also, there's a limit to what your gourd can absorb. Absorption is only possible when your data bank's level is equal to or higher than the tacit discord's level. The terminal can then convert its reverberation into an echo for use in battle. My terminal issued a warning when it detected that tacit discord earlier. It should at least be an Overlord class. Rover, would you mind checking your data bank level? No need for that. Rover, why don't you just try absorbing it with your terminal? Oh, so it doesn't work. No worries. 
trees. You can start with smaller ones before tackling this guy here. There should be some sweet baby roche rooms around here. Let's go check those out, shall we? <sighs> We'll need to report the unusual phenomena here to the City Hall and the Academy. Let's make our exit. ability quite like this you got any other tricks up your sleeve like eating a whole tacit discord grilling echoes alive could it be related to your lost memories can you recall anything now rover are you feeling all right any discomfort? Could it be the side effect of fighting that tacit discord? Baiji, can we take Rover to do a checkup at Huashu Academy's Resonance Medical Department? Hmm. Baiji? Absorbing echoes with the human body is not entirely unprecedented. With the human body? I remember Comprehensive Mirror for Historians mentioned this in the Huanglong section's opening. A celestial being descended, commanding the Tiankun's boundless power. Assuming mortal form, they condensed the primordial essence, creating Pangu. Cleaving heaven and earth apart, they aligned the celestial and terrestrial. Their radiance encompassed the four corners, Thus began the illustrious annals of Huanglong, as provinces were first demarcated. There was a very strong person way back, like they held the whole universe right in their hands. As there was no terminal in those days, they absorbed the tacit discords with their bare hands. And the TD they absorbed was the most powerful of all. That person turned it into the first Echo ever. Then they used the power of that Echo to rebuild the world, sort out the laws, and that's how the history of Huang Long began. Actually, I'm not. I hope I was, though. Those were just some old tales my parents used to tell me, kind of like the Sentinel's appointment thing. Yang Yang's got an impressive memory for the ancient texts. Me? I just happen to roughly remember what the story's about. Whether it's true or not, that story happened a long time ago, when Jinjo didn't even exist. Could it be that Rover's like the great, 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 great granny of us all? Let's not jump to conclusions without enough data and proper analysis. Rover. message to all of Genjo from the City Hall. My fellow soldiers and citizens, I apologize for any inconvenience caused. I am Jin Shi, the Magistrate of Jinjo. As the Moon Chasing Festival approaches, our city welcomes visitors from around the world. The festivities are highly anticipated by our people and I too share in this joyful sentiment. Jing 
Hangzhou has always been a crucial defense against the tacit discord outbreaks, safeguarding Huang Long. We have a heavy responsibility on our shoulders with no room for retreat or failure. It is the dedication of our warriors, along with the diligence of our citizens, that has allowed us to thrive in peace and prosperity. Despite the challenges of tacit discords, we remain steadfast and hospitable to visitors, upholding our enduring traditions. With that in mind, I have a favor to ask. Among our many visitors, there is one visitor that holds utmost importance to me, the city of Jinzhou, and the entirety of Huanglong. We have awaited your arrival for a long time. Given the circumstances, you may be feeling bewildered at this time. You should have noticed some strange happenings related to you. If you plan to stay in Jinjo for some time, I would be more than delighted to personally meet you in the city hall of Jinjo. While I cannot guarantee to provide all the answers you need, I will do my best to assist you and provide necessary permissions, if applicable. This is only my personal request. You can decide your course of action in any way you see fit. Therefore, I request the people and soldiers of Jinjo to assist this esteemed visitor when the opportunity arises. Why do I get this feeling? This person our magistrate was talking about is Rover. Wow, so this is the true measure of a chief. I mean, of our Rover. This is the true measure of a chief. It's a famous line from a good old hero play. It's been running for almost four years. It's a really heartwarming tale about the chief and their squad. Does that hero play story sound familiar to you? Hey, that ain't the point, okay? What are your plans now, Rover? Remember, you had a flashback of yourself looking into its eyes when you saw the statue of our sentinel. We can't confirm its authenticity, but based on the magistrate's message, it seems Chen Zhou has a lot to do with your past. Whether you were the visitor our magistrate mentioned or not, you are surely important to Chen Zhou, and you will be our important friend! We've already entrusted our lives to each other. I've never seen so many TDs packed together. And that elite one was so scary. Well, you did get rid of most of them. <laughs> anyway, once we're back in Jinjo, I'll treat you that famous specialty from Pan Hua's restaurant. It would be best for your well-being to have a thorough physical examination once we arrive in Jinjo. While there don't seem to be any immediate side effects following the absorption of that echo, we cannot rule out the- I'm gonna get you one you can absorb! I never go back on my promise! Your hero teaches on the Can you reenact what you did before? Hmm, 
maybe you can only absorb the powerful ones with your body. Or does it have to be a certain type of tacit discord? Or maybe... Maybe we should give your terminal a whirl. Yay! It worked! look, but the functions are pretty much the same. Strike from the shadows! Video blade. Storm, hear the command. City's just up ahead. Rover? Ha <laughs> ha 
There you are. My dearest. Seed of fate. What should we do next? Shall we go grab a bite? I am to return to the Academy. The anomalies of the Gorges of Spirits, the resurgence of that tacit field, and the many wave-worn phenomena occurrences. I should report them in time. Then I'll go submit our report and prepare the documentation needed for Rover's audience with the Magistrate while I'm there. It's the political hub of Jinzhou, and where the Grand Library is located. The City Hall is an important place. Seeking an audience with a magistrate isn't too difficult, but there are still rules to follow. Then I guess I'll take Rover over to the Nexus Tower for registration first, and we'll just hang out for a while. Being new to Jinzhou and all, she can't be left standing outside the City Hall with nothing to do. Hospitality is our local specialty, you know. Then I'll leave you in Shizia's care, Rover. Is that all right with you? I'll give you a call once the paperwork is done. Leave it to me. I'll send the branch of Resin Medical Science a notice. We need to conduct a thorough physical examination on you to make sure you are fine. Come visit the Academy after your audience if you have no other plans. Yes. A physical examination would be required to determine if any disease is present. If no medical issues are found, we'll conduct further monitoring and analysis to understand what happened to your body. Of course, we won't do anything without your consent. You guys done yet? What's the hold up? Let's move! Then I'll have more time to show Rover around! We've got loads of fun in Jinjo. We can go watch lion dances, hero plays, stand-up shows, and then maybe the martial championships. Plus tons of different treats to try out. You think it, we have it. Chissa, ally of justice at your service. Are you the one in need of a hero?
Angel's Nexus Tower. Exactly. Let me see. Uh, think of it as Jinjo's largest service station. Or an integration hub. It's something along those lines. I'm not much of a tech person myself. Long story short, it's a navigator, a defense system, and a regional information center all in one enormous package. The smaller ones we ran into earlier are resonance beacons. Data is shared between all beacons. You activate one and the entire map's data will be relayed to your terminal. Pretty nifty, huh? Just place your terminal here. It's expecting. Go see for yourself. Ew. First time seeing such a crowd in front of the city hall. I was surprised too. I've never seen so many non staff personnel here before. Most of the people here have applied for an audience, but I heard they've all been turned down. Most people were advised to. advised to leave by the magistrate's bodyguard upon sending in their applications. The ones staying here are either trying to apply for some other people or just too stubborn to leave. The few that made it inside said it only took one freezing look from Lady Sunwa and they were compelled to leave. What kind of description is that? Sounds like they've met some snake-haired lady and got turned into stone. She's the magistrate's personal bodyguard. I've heard of her before. She's the all-round Death Glare slash Terminator Ice Beauty. That's what the rumors say, at least. There is a small chance she's not in the City Hall, but it's very unlikely for her not to be in Jinzhou. Or rather, it's nearly impossible for the Magistrate to leave Jinzhou at all. With her busy schedule, it's already difficult to find any time off. In addition, as the magistrate of Jinzhou, leaving the land under her jurisdiction without authentication is not allowed. Unless she's engaged on a business trip, or when Jinzhou's safety is under threat. Yep, there's gotta be something big if that's the case. 
So this is the true confidence of our rover. I agree, though. So far, you've been ticking all the boxes in our magistrate's description. Sure it can. Have you thought of something, Rover? You mean... I can't really keep up with your thoughts, but I think a meeting with a magistrate wouldn't hurt. Same here. Anywhere, a magistrate's the best lead we have for now, no matter what she has in store for Rover. VIP or not VIP, special or not special, that doesn't matter at all. Unless there's money to earn, of course. <laughs> what do you think, Rover? Are you in a hurry to recover your memories? In that case... How about meeting with the Magistrate first? She may have the answers you're looking for. We're not allowed to go with you. Shizia and I will be right outside the City Hall. We'll be waiting for you. That's right. We're not going anywhere. Just give us a shout if anything goes down. Wait, no, we won't be able to hear you. Plus, they've got this rule about not yelling inside the city hall. The VIP the magistrates expect. Go see for yourself. Kindly have a seat. Lady Sanhua will be with you shortly. to make your acquaintance. I apologize for the delay. My name is San Hua, the bodyguard of Madame Magistrate. I regret to inform you that Madame Magistrate is currently away. Prior to her departure, she instructed me to bring you these tokens and a welcome gift. Madame Magistrate advised you to explore what these tokens represent during her absence. This may help you acquire the information you desire sooner. I apologize for the inconvenience, but please rest assured she will be here to meet you in three days' time. Sorry, I cannot disclose her whereabouts at this time. Please trust me that she is eagerly looking forward to meeting you in person. Pardon my inability to provide a better answer. Madam Magistrate has a task that she must handle alone but she has never for one moment forgotten about her meeting with you. Not knowing exactly when you'd arrive, she had to leave without having the chance to welcome you in person. Because she will require at least three days to complete her current task, Madam Magistrate wanted to assure you that in three days, by any means, she will return to meet you in person.
You... I'll be sure to convey your kindness to Madam Magistrate. Please accept my sincerest gratitude. Yes, Madam Magistrate does hope to have your assistance, but there is no rush for a decision. She does not want to pressure you into anything you may not desire. We invite you to learn about our situation before making a final commitment. When it comes to these tokens, it is never her intention to confuse you with the puzzles. Instead, they should serve as clues that lead you toward the truth. Madam Magistrate deeply regrets not having the time to deliver her messages to you in person. We value your presence far more than you might imagine. The same goes for any and all information about you. Since Madam Magistrate is currently away, I cannot make the final confirmation on her behalf. But you, you are truly exceptional. Regarding that, my eyes can see the frequencies of all living beings. Or rather, those frequencies are the only thing I can see. You, you share the same frequency with Madam Magistrate. You look undistorted and authentic in your original form. In my eyes, you appear the way you are. They all look different. for a moment? Indeed. It was an oversight on my end. I will now import my contact information and that of all public services, like patrol stations, into your terminal. I will be here on standby, ready to assist whenever you need me. I need your terminal for regional access authorization. I will also configure the latest utility module for you. Madam Magistrate thought you might need it. The utility module on your terminal has been upgraded to the latest iteration. Now all the utilities, including sensor, levitator, and grapple, should be fully functional. You are now granted unlimited access to all regions in Jinjo. I have sent your terminal ID to every border pass and residence beacon. You will only need to display your terminal ID or activate a beacon with your terminal for entry. You are free to visit any part of Jinjo. Yes, including the City Hall. You have full access to its facilities. Also, may I ask, have you decided your place of residence in Jinjo? If not, Madam Magistrate has arranged accommodation for you, in advance, here in the City Hall. I will lead you to your room if you need. Understood. We will be ready to accommodate you anytime. Rover! It took you so long! 
wrong. What gives? Was our magistrate a chatterbox? So Madam Magistrate's not in the city hall. <clears throat> the wind is rising. In it, I sense disturbance and unrest. The increasing tacit fields, uncannily powerful tacit discords, and now, our Magistrate's absence. Plus, the mysterious rover. I'm afraid. We've reported to the City Hall, the Ministry of War, and the Academy. We've done everything we can. I mean, this is one lawn, and we're talking about Jinzhou of all places. We've been through our fair share of unrest over the past thousand years, and we've made it together every time. There's been TD outbreaks every year, but we can always trust General Ji Yan, Madam Magistrate, and our Sentinel to have our backs. We're not ones to mess with. United we stand, a bastion of might. One equals a legion, invulnerable in fight. Well said, Jizya. Do you have any plans, Rover? Rover, do you mind if we have a look at the tokens? So? What's so special about them? A candy? Oh, I've had these when I was a kid. I think they were called... Sugar Pearls? But I haven't seen anything like this in a while. Went out of trend, maybe. It reminds me of my childhood. I still remember the taste. It was so sweet. I was really scared of getting my flu shots when I was little. And sometimes, the nurse lady would hand out candies like this as a prize for being good. But what does it mean as a token? Hmm. It seems like a miniature sundial. On this sundial, Time seems to be represented by the 12 earthly branches drawn on the outer ring of its surface. And its inner ring shows the four symbols, each representing one cardinal direction. These are the four famous auspicious beasts in Huang Long's folklore. They are believed to protect people from all four directions under heaven. Generally, the teal long represents the east. The white tiger stands for the west. The vermilion bird stands for the south. And finally, we have the black tortoise for the north. It seems the sundial is supposed to show both time and direction. But how can it work when there is not a compass attached? Not to mention, the lack of sunlight basically renders it useless. Ugh, that requires way too much brain power. This leaf seems a bit odd. Can't tell what tree it is. I think I can feel something from it. Hmm. Never mind. It's too faint. Maybe it was just my imagination. Sorry. I can't tell what kind of tree this leaf belongs to either. This is... A mangosteen fruit. Mangosteens are not native to Zhenzhou. They are usually imported by boat. I think we can find more mangosteens being sold at the nearby markets. They're not always available for purchase, though. The frequent tacit discord outbreaks can disrupt transportation and cause shortages. The Midnight Rangers have greatly improved the situation in recent years, but still. So Chizia and I share similar childhood memories of the Sugar Pearl. Do you remember it too, Rover? When it comes to candies, no one knows them better than the kids of Jinjo. Oh right, Baja's still waiting for us at the Academy.
there's still some distance to the Huashu Academy. Let's see who reaches there faster. Yang Yang just installed some apps for you, remember? Just look for the one that's called Utilities on the terminal. Jinjo Speedster, you gotta master the grapple. Come on, give oh, wait a sec, someone's looking for me. Yeah? What? When did he disappear? Don't worry, it's all right, I'll be right there. Duty calls. Oops, almost forgot. Can't be late. Sorry, Rover, Yin Yang. I've gotta head off for my shift. I'll join you right after I'm done, all right? If you need me, just shout my name. And I, the Jinjo Speedster, will be there in a sec. Stop, stop! Don't call me that. Anyway, I gotta go. You guys okay on your own? Give me a heads up when there's any updates. Sure, go do your thing. Don't worry, I'm staying with him. Rover, let's go inside. to my message. She's probably busy in her lab. Over there must be Mr. Mortify from the Department of Safety. Baiji once mentioned him before. He might be able to help us get in touch with Baiji, but um, it seems we've caught him at a bad time. something Mr. Mortify, please pardon our intrusion. We are friends of Baiju and we're here to look for her. I see. I hope I didn't cause any offense earlier. Not at all. It was us who bothered you. Baiju should be in the data analysis room. I'll go tell her you're here. Thank you, sir. a renowned figure in the Department of Safety. He was born in the New Federation, and he joined the Huashu Academy a few years ago. I heard his talent is truly impressive. People say he's a bit scary at first glance, but he's actually quite kind-hearted once you get to know him. Shizya told me he's quite popular with the kids. Children have been pestering him for all kinds of fancy toys, and he's always open to their requests. Here you are. The data we collected in the Gorges of Spirits has been submitted for analysis, and we'll have the results today. I have the equipment for your physical examinations ready too. Any discoveries during your trip to the City Hall? about the sugar pearl, but I need to verify it first. If possible, I recommend conducting non-destructive tests of all these tokens you have. Data is always straightforward. The first three tokens can be tested at my branch's laboratory. This miniature sundial will require radiographic testing, though. To access the necessary equipment, we'll need to file a request with one of the Tacitite Studies-related branches. Yes, Mortify is the branch of Tacitite Weaponry's head within the Department of Safety. One moment, please. Give me 
me the items to be tested. Anything else you need me to know, you can let me know now. You may retrieve your items in 20 minutes, and the analysis report will be ready five minutes after that. Take a right, and you'll find me in the testing room. This one looks like the early handiwork of someone I know. It's lightweight, and its design differs from that of the typical sundial. And it appears to be missing a part. See? There's a groove here. It will take some time before the results are ready. If you have other matters to take care of, you should go ahead. I'll let you know once we have the results. Shall we wait here at the Academy, Rover? Sure you can. But don't forget your physical examination. I'll see you in a while for that. I have the equipment ready. I'll need to check your health status and see if there are any unusual fluctuations. Now let's begin, if you're ready. Can you try to manifest the crownless's frequency without using your terminal? Hmm. I am not seeing the crownless's data in your terminal. So it was indeed absorbed into your body. The crownless's frequency energy was consumed by your body leaving no trace behind. But how did you manage to do that? It's as though there's another mechanism within your body capable of absorbing frequency energy. How do you define monster? For resonators like you, such abnormal fluctuations in frequency typically lead to overclocking. When a resonator's mental capacity is overwhelmed, they may lose control of their forte causing an overflow of resonance energy. We have established a comprehensive overclock diagnosis process to accurately predict potential risks of overclocking. Your waveform graph shows a remarkable level of stability, surpassing any resonator I've encountered. Your risk of overclocking should be minimal. You don't need to worry about that for the time being. To put it simply, it seems there is another dimension or a creature hiding inside your body. A universe. That's a poetic and intriguing comparison. It seems we need a simulated combat to figure out what happened in your body. Please hold your terminal tight and stay still. Simulated training ground. Don't worry, Yang Yang and I will assist you. Please fight the simulated tacit discords like you normally would. Such a nuisance. Resolute. 
power is upon us. We've gathered all the data we need. The test is ending soon. Rover, you can find the exit straight up ahead. Rover, can you hear me? Hello? The comm line is dead. Something's wrong. Gotta be cautious. Now, where is the exit? I'm back to the same spot again. And this... Moon? What is happening? Are those... tacit discords? saw? Can you give us some more details? An enormous moon looming above you. Now, this reminds me of the unusual sightings that supposedly happened during a past war. This is the first time we've run into anything like this since we put the training ground into use. The Sonorosphere captures everything that once happened in a specific time and place, be it good or bad. We built this simulated training ground after the structure of Sonorospheres. Our goal was to extract pure remnant energy with the simulated Sonorosphere. But we cannot guarantee that all abnormal frequencies were eliminated. Your arrival may have revived the abnormal frequencies we accidentally captured. Remnant energy sometimes gives rise to memory manifestations of sentient beings. You may have encountered one such manifestation. I suspect it could have something to do with your unconscious mind. Such anomalies could have been hiding in the simulation and they resonated with your subconscious. Or perhaps they were lifted from your subconscious in the first place. I'm afraid I can't give you a conclusion yet. Not until we've run a thorough analysis on the data collected. I'll also check the simulated sonorosphere again to see what on earth happened to it. In terms of bodily functions, you seem to be in perfect health. In fact, all the data look quite good, but if you feel anything unusual, please come find me anytime. a researcher at the Huashu Academy. Let me witness where...
The streams have guided me to you. I have a feeling we'll be companions for many moons to come. Yotan and I will ensure your safety. solid object. It's not just a timekeeping tool. It's an intricate mortise and tenon puzzle box. This sundial is hollow with an inner compartment. We've scanned it, and there is a small paper scroll inside. However, it's missing a crucial component. We should be able to spin the wheels on the sundial once the right component is installed. I have some basic knowledge. But there is someone else who is more knowledgeable in automata mechanics than I am. It wouldn't have taken me this long if we were dealing with tacitite weapons. Install the missing part, then rotate the wheels to their correct positions, and you should be able to solve the puzzle and access the paper scroll. However, I still have no idea what the missing component should look like. Well, that's a no-brainer indeed. We could certainly give it a try. If you're fine with the paper scroll being destroyed by its protective mechanism, that is. Uh, one moment. I have an incoming call. Mm. What is it? You certainly are well informed. It's indeed beautiful data. Good taste. Well, since you've put it that way... Prover. Mr. Mortify's expression seems to have softened, don't you think? An amiable person, isn't he? We haven't even asked him to help us with assembling. It looks like Mr. Mortify needs more time. Maybe we should give him some space to concentrate. Rover, let's come back later, shall we?
Pumli, please don't touch that. It's dangerous. Rover, I don't think we'll find what we need here. Yes, of course. I've already noticed all that you mentioned. Indeed, you just pointed out a blind spot in my thinking. Your workshop? That hellish place? <laughs> Stop sweet-talking me. I get it. <laughs> Sorry for keeping you waiting. Let's get back to the sundial. It's a mortise and tenon-based puzzle box. The missing component in the middle needs to fulfill two entirely different structural requirements at the same time. Considering its entire structure, this component needs an automatic buckle that goes down on top of an embedded pointer. I'll draw up a design for you. The parts you'll need can be found in Jiang Li's workshop. I've already informed him about it. You'll only need to go fetch the parts in his place. He keeps a box full of them. Division of labor is more efficient in getting things done. Besides, I would like to avoid stepping foot in Jiang Li's workshop ever again. The mere thought of that place brings me migraines. It's a minefield of clutter and chaos. A murky swamp within the academy walls, as vile and perilous as some primeval forest before the lament. Any civilized human would find it impossible to stand. I see. Shall we go and retrieve the parts now, Rover? 